Okay. So y'all know I don't give y'all perfect videos, okay? I try. I give you I tried videos. This is gonna be one of those. I tried. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Vegan with me, Erin Wells, and we are back with another fall recipe. This time, we're doing vegan shepherd's pie. Let's get started. All right, let's start by preheating the oven to 400 degrees, and now let's make our sauce. All right, I'm gonna put about three tablespoons of butter into our pan. That's probably more like four tablespoons, let's be honest. Two tablespoons all-purpose flour. Gonna add one cup vegetable broth. I'm gonna use a whisk to get rid of the lumps. Now we're gonna add in one and one fourth onion and one teaspoon garlic. Two tablespoons tomato paste. Why stuff you wanna do this to me? Why? Come out. Come out. For veggies, I'm using all these brands. This is 12 ounces of frozen carrots, corn, green beans, and peas. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, I don't know. Make sure it's vegan, because some of them contain anchovies. Now, typically shepherd's pie is made with lamb, but Americanized version is actually called cottage pie with ground beef. We're not gonna be using either, obviously, because we're vegan. Hair toss. We're gonna be using walnut meat, all right? So guys, I bought some walnuts from the farmer's market. I soaked them for 24 hours. They're still a bit crunchy, but we're also gonna cook them in the broth so they'll be okay. And I'm just gonna crush them up into a more meat-like um, size. This is for student loans. I'm gonna add two cups of the walnut meat to our mixture. I'm still kind of squishing up some of this walnut meat. Some of it is still a little chunky. That's all that banging we did. All right, I'm gonna let this simmer for about five minutes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. And then we're gonna add some salt and pepper to taste. Some salt and some pepper. All right, so I was gonna use my usual eight by eight, but I think this is a little bit more, so we need the big boy. The nine by 12. Let's transfer everything over. Oh, yeah, oh, mm-hmm. Now for our topping, I also made some mashed potatoes ahead of time. I believe this is like five uh, Idaho potatoes. I took a picture, here it is. All right, so we're all done. We got everything all covered here. I tried to do like a little cute little wiggly line on top, I, I don't know. Now the internet is pretty split about whether to put cheese on top or not. So I'm gonna do a compromise and just go around with cheese. Okay, okay we're just gonna go around with the cheese. I'm using so delicious cheddar. Okay, okay Erin, who are you trying to Girl, that's pretty. Now into the oven, this is gonna go for 20 minutes. Okay guys, it is out of the oven. It's uh, it's vegan cheese, so that's that's all the meltability we're gonna get, okay? It's, it's vegan cheese. Get a little corner here. It ain't pretty, but we gonna see what it tastes like. <laughs> okay, it's real hot. That's why you're supposed to let your food cool. Look at all that smoke. I'm sweating. Ooh. That is good. One thing I will say, the walnuts are still a little bit crunchy. I soaked them for 24 hours. Let me know down in the comments if I was supposed to soak them for longer or maybe leave them in the pot longer. Let me know, they still have a little crunch to them. The taste is just fine. I wanted to use a whole plant-based thing, but yeah, let me know. Anyway, okay guys, it is the next day and I just couldn't let that video ride. Like the walnuts, they were a lot of crunchy. I just could not give that to y'all and tarnish my name. So I went ahead and bought some Beyond Meat Crumbles. Um, at least we're gonna keep it soy free, if not mock meat free. All right, so let's continue the video where we started off before we put in our crunchy almonds. All right, so like I said, everything is the same. I didn't do anything else different. I'm gonna add in the whole bag. And I do want to add a bit of extra flavor to this batch. I'm going to do one teaspoon of sage. 
and one teaspoon of thyme. Just like before, we're gonna cover for five to 10 minutes. Y'all don't talk about meat. We gotta use a mini loaf pan for this uh, Beyond Meat version because I don't have enough potatoes to fill my other casserole dish. So, uh, so yeah, that's gonna be another recipe. That's fine, that's fine. And then we'll put our potatoes on top. Since that barely covered the top, we gonna cover the whole thing with cheese. Ain't nobody gotta know. It's between you and me. Cover it with cheese. All right, let's put this bad boy in the oven. That didn't work, uh, y'all. Um, I guess we put too much, I'm blaming us. We put too much filling at the bottom and exploded. Let's see how this tastes though. It's okay. This, in real life, you would use a casserole dish anyway. So, let's judge what's inside. Okay. That's what we're looking like on the inside. It's, it's ugly pretty. No, we ain't doing this hot thing again. No, we're not. <laughs> it just tastes like more of a Thanksgiving recipe with the sage and the thyme. Doesn't taste like dressing though. I don't want you guys to think it tastes like dressing, but I think I do prefer the sage and the thyme. It just ups it up a little bit more. Walnut was good. I think this one is better. I will have to get another opinion. All right, guys, I got me the omnivore over to taste both versions of the shepherd pie. I did not tell him which was which, which I like better. We'll let him decide all for himself. You've seen him on two of my shows before. This is Donovan Williams. Oh, yeah, come on, government. Oh, okay, <laughs> yes. I've had homemade version, mm -hmm. and my favorite is um, Cheesecake Factory Shepherd Pie. That's Ooh. tough, good lord. That's pretty good. Your seasoning's always on point. I don't know how you do that stuff. <laughs> Seasoning. Okay, Seasoning. that's number one. Okay. I'm digging that. Okay. All right. All right. Maybe I should have this one first. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's not bad. I like the texture. The vegetables are really, really good. Um, it's tasty, but having had that one, and I don't know what she did to which one. Yeah. Um, the flavoring on that one is insane. I like texture. I mean, yeah. it's not. It's not bad, like mm -hmm. I said. Mm -hmm. It's just that. Having had that one first, yeah. there's a significant difference. I feel you. Okay. Okay, so they're both winners just if you have the flavor but punch first. I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> yes! <laughs> he even likes the accident. <laughs> As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.